people. Andrew Luck's 16 interceptions in 2014 ranks sixth most in the league in a Football Outsiders article on ESPN.com analyzes that Luck could actually have worse interception numbers. Our adjusted interceptions metric removes fluky INTs, Hail Mary throws, drop passes, and adds in dropped INTs and picks broken up by the offensive player. And when you look at Luck's first three three seasons, excuse me, through that prism, it's clear he's been lucky to not throw more picks in his first three seasons. His 21 adjusted INTs were the second worst mark in the league, this after having the worst mark in the league during his rookie season. And for some perspective, the other five top tier quarterbacks, Rodgers, Brady, Big Ben, Breeze, and Peyton had an average of 14 adjusted INTs in 2014. Skip, that was a novel I just read you, but yeah. I know you've got it all. What Look, do you make of just, it? Just let's get to the bottom line here. Andrew was lucky. That's the punchline to this. He should have had far more interceptions in each of his three seasons. And I want to thank football outsiders for having the guts to look harder and go against the grain and finally give me some film breakdown stats to back up my contention, which is one of my pet peeves on this show. The premature coronation of Andrew Luck drives me nuts. I've never said he's going to be a bust because he's clearly far, far, far from a bust. But he's clearly not a, an, a first ballot lock Hall of Famer because that's all I ever hear from this guy and through that camera right there and everybody else on this network. Andrew Luck, he's this, Andrew Luck. And I say, I, just show me, just, just show me because I do look harder because I was an RG3 fan and RG3 did outplay him his rookie year when RG3 had 20 touchdowns, only five interceptions, and was the offensive rookie of the year. But now I have some ammunition, Mr. Smith. And I look at Andrew Luck's interceptions two years ago, they were 18 on paper, but they could have been 30. Maybe they should have been 30, given dropped interceptions, near interceptions. Last year, his 16 interceptions could have been 21. That would have made him second worst in the National Football League if, in fact, those balls had been caught. I look at turnovers because this man has been a turnover machine. His rookie year, his combined turnovers, interceptions, and lost fumbles, second only to the butt fumble artist who used to be Mark Sanchez. Last year, just this last year, his third year in the league, Andrew Lux. Combined turnovers were second only to your favorite quarterback, Jay Cutler. Really? And he's a first ballot lock Hall of Famer? Premature coronation. I continue to ask you, what's he done in the postseason in which he is now 3-3 three and three when the money is really on the line? Nine touchdowns to 12 interceptions in the postseason, completing only 56.5% of his passes? You might call that Tebow-esque, and you might be right about that. 56.5% of his passes, and of course that nightmare game, the, def the deflate gate game at Foxborough, his QBR was 26.4 in that game on that Saturday night, which is on a scale of 0 to 100, 26.4. Premature coronation. I could go on and on with these stats, but I think I'm seeing an early turnover machine. He's just a kid. I get that. And they pointed out that his attempts per game, his average attempts per game, 37.8, is now second most in, in NFL history at this moment through three years. Well, they're asking him to do too much. They're trying to make him into a first ballot Hall of Famer. They're treating him like one now. Maybe this year with Frank Gore, they can get back to running the football a little bit more. Maybe with Andre Johnson, they throw a few more higher percentage possession type passes. I don't know. But so far, not so good for Andrew Luck because you cannot turn the ball over that much and be that successful in this league. You know what? Sometimes you make me sick because, see, I see how slick you can be. Mm -hmm. What this is really about harkens back to Peyton Manning leaving for Denver 
Irse making the decision that rather than bet on the next three to five years, I'm going to bet on the next 15 to 20 with this kid coming out of Stanford and how you obviously was against that decision because I, I this said is a three, win three now. Three years, the next lead. three years. Now, listen, and whatever, I was right about point, that. I said three to five. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm giving no, – no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Skip. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Is Peyton Manning won? Does he won any Super Bowls in Denver yet? I don't got know. I may, I may be wrong. I don't recall. Yeah. I don't recall. It got to one. What mm -hmm. happened that afternoon? Mm -hmm. Don't get me started. The point that I'm trying to make to you, evening rather. The point that I'm trying to make to you is that guess what? There's no Super Bowl championship. At the end of the day, Peyton Manning has just as many Super Bowls as Andrew Luck since Andrew Luck came into the National Football League. It's point number one. Point number two. Andrew Luck has been sacked 100 times in his first three years in Indianapolis. Now, granted, it was 41, like I think it was like 41 the first year, 32 the second year, just 27 last year. So it's going in the right direction, but he's been sacked 100 times in his first three seasons as an NFL quarterback, okay? Because we all know that at least at some point, the Indianapolis Colts offensive line was suspect. Their running game was virtually non-existent. And Andrew Luck had to stop at, drop back to pass and throw the football and fling the football because their defense wasn't elite either. Well, over the last three years, when we talked about elite defenses in the NFL, the Indianapolis Colts were not in that conversation. So if the Indianapolis Colts weren't in the conversation for their stout defense, if they weren't in the conversation because of a stout running game, if the offensive line was nowhere in the vicinity of being compared to the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles of the world or any other respectable offensive line like San Francisco and others, basically what it came down to was Andrew Luck, the Indianapolis Colts, Ride, rode, and died with this brother and what he did. The ball was in his hands. What does that mean? You're going to have to take chances. And following up, being the successor to the great Peyton Manning, I applaud Andrew Luck for going out there, being as brave as he is, as a gunslinger, trying to go for it. So what does he do his first three years? 11 wins. What does he do his first three years? Three postseason appearances. Wild card berth first year. Divisional playoff appearance the second year. AFC Championship game appearance his third year. Progressive steps along the way. And now the Indianapolis Colts finally went out, got Frank Gore, who they can rely on because he was averaging about four yards a carry for the San Francisco Giants, and that's pretty much what he's done throughout his career. Getting an experienced dude like Andre Johnson, even though I would like to still see Reggie Wayne back there with T.Y. Hilton and Andre Johnson in my perfect world, but that's neither here nor there. All I'm saying is Andrew Luck is not perfect. There is no question that there were interceptions that he could have had, just like there are other quarterbacks who got lucky where things could have been intercepted and it didn't end up being that way, including Tony Romo, including Tom Brady and Peyton Manning and others. It happens when you throw the football a lot. But in the end, Andrew Luck is big time because when you project, what this brother is capable of based on the eye test and beyond, even with the 16 interceptions, he led the league with 40 touchdown passes. Mm. This brother is a big time ball player. He's young. He's got a lot of growing to do. He's going to make mistakes. There is no question. But I also think there is no question that when his career is all said and done in the next 15 to 17 years, because to me, he could do about 20 years in this league. Andrew Luck will be a Hall of Famer, and he will be a champion. Can you say that about RG3? Well, he got hurt. Do, are we discounting that? Oh, oh. oh. You know what? Hold on. You know why? I, I, you know what? I'm not discounting it from mm -hmm. RG3's purposes. Yeah. But I will discount, discount it for Andrew Luck's purposes. You know why? Because those tree trunks for legs that Andrew Luck has. The brother's a football player. He's a big boy. Mm. And I tried to tell you that, that. That factors into the equation. His durability. He can take hits. He can take punishment. He's still athletic. He's got tree trunks for legs. He's got a rifle arm. He's got an athletic, big NFL body. This brother is somebody that you can rely upon for years to come. We're wondering whether RG3 is going to last month to month. 
And this big, strong brother has been a fumbling machine in the pocket because he holds uh, the football tomato, too long tomato. and coughs yeah. it here and coughs He'll it there. Work on it. Second most He'll turnovers work on last it. year work on to it. Jay Cutler. He'll really? Work on it. Oh, let's sh let's hold work the on Hall it. of Fame ceremony right here, right now, and just put him in. After that, seriously? No, not at all. He doesn't deserve it if it's today. See, you change the narrative because it fits oh. your argument. But the fact of the matter is, when people talk about Andrew Luck in the fashion that you accuse us of, we're saying when all is said and done, mm -hmm. that's what the, we, nobody's going to look at Andrew Luck right now and say he's a Hall of Famer. Of course, he's got to play better. But for three years in the league, there ain't too many people that have been more impressive than this kid. Okay. And you need to show him more respect. No. I refuse until he shows me more Of course you do. Of course you do, because okay. it doesn't fit your narrative. No. I mean, because to give him respect, you'd have to be admitting I, I, that you were wrong about you all these numbers. They, they, they're not a narrative. Oh, they're the facts. Since when do you I'll care? I'll just sweep them under the you carpet. You throw out stats when you want to. I knew you would. You pick stats when you want to. You throw them out when you want to. You're you 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 moody. You're moody with it. Please. Moody? Andrew Luck I is going to have something to say about it. Andrew Luck right now is a top 10 quarterback in the NFL. Nobody's disputing that. Three years in the league, top 10. Yeah, I'll put Three him years. in the top 10. I won't put him in the top five. Damn and right I you will not back off my contention going back four years ago that the Indianapolis Colts would have had a better chance to win the Super Bowl over the next three years after Peyton went to Denver and they shoot him, you know, pushed him out the back door in Hold Indianapolis. It. Hold they it. would have had a better chance to win the Super Bowl. A lot of people thought Peyton was shot. I did not. And was I right? Wait a the, minute. The first Wait two years in Denver, I didn't he had not he been shot. MVP? I didn't think he was shot. Stop lying. Stop lying. I didn't think Peyton Manning was shot. That is not the argument. You're not going to sit up here and get away with lying to America like you usually try to do. You lying were making the argument that it was better to go with Peyton Manning for three years yeah. than go with Andrew Luck for the next 20. I said go with him for the next 20. We all knew that he wasn't going to be better than Peyton Manning the first three years. What we were saying is, do you pick three years or do you pick 20? That was the argument. Don't change this. Nobody said he was going to be better than Peyton Manning over those three years. Nobody said okay, that. I'd, I'd have to check the tape on you, but I know a whole lot of people oh, on this please. network. Of course you got to check the tape. Yeah, I of would. Because I, I don't tape. think you sure, were you gotta check the tape. On, on Peyton's chances please. coming I, off you were on all the, the neck oath, procedures. You were on the oath, you'd be arrested right now and held in contempt for perjury because yeah. you're lying. I feel you out. That, that, that was the argument. Yeah. Three years to 20. You know Nobody what? Nobody said he was better than Peyton Manning. I might have to take you to court to clear my good name. You'd be indicted on perjury charges right now. Yeah, I'm a liar. You're just trying to be slick. Yeah. Legacy on the line. Oh, we, can yeah. agree, we can Stop all agree. We can all agree. The That's other phases okay. of the game it's need okay. to step up to take the well, pressure. Well, well, so the the audience got. knows who won that. It's okay. Oh, you it's got. Okay. Yeah. He's got just as many rings as Peyton Manning over yeah. the last three years. Yeah. Yes, he does. Gentlemen, we cool. Both of them got the same amount of Super Bowl mm -hmm. titles. But Pey but Andrew Luck gonna be around here a decade from now. Where's Peyton gonna be? He might be on TV with me and you. Yeah. I hope he is. He's good. Yeah. All yeah. right. Anyway, so to take the pressure off Andrew Luck, Forward obviously Gruden, he, need, he needs the line to step Sweet. up the running game and the defense, and obviously that's why they brought in Frank Gore, and he should fit in nicely into Pep Hamilton's offense. And also, let's not forget the two pieces they added on defense there on the D-line, Kendall Langford and Trent Cole. Skip is not excited Who's about side are you on here? either. Listen, I think Andrew Luck's legit. Mm. I think he just oh. needs the rest of the team to Boy, step up. Boy, you're going out on a big limb. I'm there. just Thank telling you, you to take yeah. the Thank pressure you, off him. Okay. All right, Brian Cashman. Don't be scared of scared. Skip ain't gonna do anything to you, Molly. <laughs> the great Derek Jeter. Go ahead and agree. I love you both. Find yeah, out what yeah, we said yeah. when we come back. I can't Don't win. Don't lie people. to the American Help people. Help me.